Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports News Briefing for Thursday the 18th of January, the local media headlines today. Several local media pick up on the news that a man from the Red Ruth area has been arrested in Buckinghamshire as part of a police murder investigation. Pirate FM was just one of the websites to tell us that 31-year-old Martin Smith, a part-time magician, is among those being questioned on suspicion of murder, conspiracy to murder, fraud and burglary, following the deaths of two people, one of them in 2015. Cornwall Reports has details of the House of Commons' second reading of the Space Industries Bill, which could pave the way for Newquay to become Britain's first spaceport. The bill cleared its second reading and now heads to committee, with a government decision expected in March. Cornwall Reports also looked at the Local Enterprise Partnership consultation about its next pitch to the government, which includes a suggestion that the rules on VAT could be relaxed for local tourism businesses. The Falmouth Packet tells us about a pre-planning application concerning the Ponsarton Industrial Estate. The packet says a pub and hotel could be coming to the area, although the website points out that it's early days and the potential developers don't yet own the site in question. Meanwhile, the Cornish Times tells us that a proposal to turn the former Fountain Inn in Liscard into flats has been put on hold while developers consult Historic England. The Cornish and Devon Post reports how locals rallied with offers of help for the Adamsfield Equine Rescue Centre near Canworthy Water after their own premises were flooded during the recent poor weather. And finally, it was almost with a sense of disappointment that Cornwall Live accepted that the threat to life weather story of the previous day had gone somewhere else. But don't worry, there'll be another storm with a name along in a minute. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Do please share this on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye-bye.